Now, let me give you the final key. And I want you to be very sensitive. The final key responsible for every enviable destiny that we see is called the prophetic. You want to arise, you want to build. You need an encounter with the prophetic. Ezra 6 and verse 4. In this kingdom, we do not just build because of the abundance of wisdom alone. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 4. Verse 14, 6 and verse 14, my apologies. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. I'd like us to read it loud and clear when we see it in concert. This is verse 4. Thank you. Are you ready? Uh, there are all kinds of names there. I'll tell you where to stop. I don't need the names. I just need information. Ready? One, two, go. And the elders of the Jews build it. Uh-huh. Through the prophesyings of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel. You can stop there. The elders of the Jews built it and the reason why that project was fulfilled, accomplished, finished was that they prospered through the prophesyings of Zechariah the the son of Edo, Haggai the prophet, and Zechariah the son of Edo. There is a spiritual dimension to success. Do you believe that? There is. There is a spiritual dimension to success. The root of true Bible success is the realm of the spirit. There are intellectual expressions to success. There are relational expressions to success. Are we together? There are value expressions to success. But I'm telling you, you will never succeed wholly if you ignore the prophetic. The prophetic, if and when um, administered within the boundary of scripture, works wonders. I am a product of prophecy. And within a few minutes, a minute or two that we have, I want to speak over your life. And I want you to believe that things will shift by the message of God. Things will change by the message of God. Some of you have come past this mountain long enough. The Lord brought you for this conference so that you will shift. Shift to a new level. Amen. Do you believe that? The prophetic is powerful. Though. It really is. Powerful. It can program possibilities in your life. Schedule possibilities to happen in your life. Are we together? I'm a product of prophecy. I'm a product of the prophetic. I have received prophetic blessings. I have been pushed like a midwife assists a woman to give birth. Even if that woman herself is a nurse, even if that woman herself is a consultant, at the point of delivery, her qualification will not even be a basis for her to give birth herself. She will need a midwife. Are we together? The prophetic is like a midwife connecting your yesterday and your today, your today and your tomorrow. And in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you as we rise to pray. Rise up on your feet, please. We'll pray for a minute and then I just speak over your life. I want you to believe it. I want you to cry. Let there be a desperation from your heart. Father, I desire to arise and to build my life. I desire to arise and to build my destiny. I desire to arise and to move forward. That I live a life of struggle, attempting to exist. That I begin to live. Let life be added to my times. Let life be added to my years. Someone who is serious with God, begin to pray. 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 In the name of Jesus, cry for wisdom. Cry for wisdom. Cry for wisdom. Lord, grant me access to wisdom. Grant me access to wisdom. HTH, are you praying? Grant me access to wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I obtain grace. I obtain grace. The wisdom to excel. The wisdom to advance. The wisdom to increase. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Now obtain grace to pray. The kind of prayer that programs possibilities for you in the realm of the spirit. Prevailing prayer. Prayer that schedules and activates the ministry of angels for your profiting, for your advancement. 
prayer that schedules and activates the ministry of men, the ministry of helpers. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Help us in Abuja. Help us in Lagos. Help us in London. Help us in America. Help us in Canada. Help us in China, India, across Africa. Help us within Abuja. Financial help us. Career help us. Destiny help us. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Now I'm going to request that you bring your needs and your petitions before the Lord. I don't know how pastor would want us to do the prayers, but I'm going to give you a minute. The Bible says be anxious for nothing, but in everything. How many things? Concerning your land issue, concerning the court case, concerning your health. It says, but in everything, with prayer by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your request be made known. I'm not talking of your prayer request. You leave that. Pastor will direct how we'll do it. But my, I want to release my faith with you. The one thing you know that is currently impeding you from getting to the next level. Honestly, I'm releasing my faith with you and I want you to pray. Don't be silent. This is a prophetic atmosphere. Some of you, you just need an increase financially that God will bring helpers to bail you out because right now you are you are in a financial ICU. Some of you, it may be a health challenge. Whatever the issue is, please open your mouth and pray in the next one minute. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known. 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 Let the housing issue be made known. Let the financial issue be made known. Let the marital issue be made known. Let the fertility issue be made known. Let the business challenge be made known. Let the health concern be made known. Let the spiritual problem be made known. Let the attacks coming around your life be made known. Let the attacks around your mind be made known. Let your expectations for tomorrow be made known. Take a minute and make it known by faith. Whatsoever things ye desire, when ye pray, when ye pray, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. Believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. Believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. Ela para tus sabrenta que verá con chapra catus La prenda que verá que para tus ya te balanta Prega de verá que para tus Que prasca de verá que para catus ya te Let it be a new season, oh God Let it be a new season, oh God A new season in your life A new season in your business A new season in your home Someone go ahead and pray That cancer will not kill you In the name of Jesus That health concern will not kill you You are a victor, you are an overcomer It's time to arise To arise from a life of death To arise from a life of shame Go ahead and pray Your day is on Jesus In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Listen to me, believers. Learn to pray and learn to submit yourself. You have told people who did not have capacity to solve your problems, all your problems in life. And yet they did not solve it. I want you to trust the one who has the power. Are we together now? Yes. To go to God in prayer and cry out your heart. I have learned the value of his presence. Because there I can open up my heart and share with him my concerns. And receive strategies for the next season. If it is the place of prayer you go to, don't stop till you come out with answers. 
don't stop till you come out with a solution. Father, what does it take to move this ministry, to move my life, to move my family? You are a responsible man, but your hands are incapacitated. You've read every book about finances. You've done every brain work. There is a part of this equation that is a mystery. Only God will show you a strategy. You go to the place of prayer and you flog it out there. And you hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way, walk in it. It may be a foolish way, but it is the way of wisdom for you because God said it. God did not tell everybody to walk on water. Uh -uh. So don't think it's strange when he tells you to walk on water. If you walk on water on your own, it will be madness. But when he speaks, your answer is as you walk on water. Are we learning now? I can tell you various times in my life when by prayer strategies were delivered some of them very frail some of them very childlike but upon receiving those strategies executing them it took my life it took the ministry it took my destiny to another level the bible says now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph you must learn to stay in the place of prayer don't take decisions until you flog it out with god in the place of prayer but when he comes you arise with confidence knowing that he stands behind you as a mighty terrible one is someone learning now praise the name of the lord now i'm going to speak over your life do i pray sir and then they do the prayers later on okay so i'm going to be praying over your life why is the prophetic powerful because it is part of the victory tools that god has given the saints i call them systems of advantage when you lift your hands and you shout amen, it is not, it's not just a church thing. Amen means I agree that it should be so. Are we together now? And prophetic words are very powerful. To you, it just sounds like words moving through the air. But in the realm of the spirit, they are programmings. They don't die. They get into your tomorrow. And I told you yesterday, they schedule a triumphant entry for you. So if I pray, for instance, and I say, may your destiny help us find you, you just shout, amen. How it will happen, you do not need to know. The Bible says, just as you do not know how bones are formed in her that is with child, nor the way of the wind, that is how you do not know the way of God. It will always be by a mystery you cannot explain. Are we together now? There is a part of this greatness equation that science cannot explain. It is the hand of God. Abraham who was about to lie that his wife was his sister, even though it was true in a way, but then he was lying so that Abimelech would not carry his wife away. And yet God worked it out. Are we together now? I hope you know that was how Abraham truly became wealthy. Abimelech the king lavished him with so much gift. And because Lot went with him, he got something to him. God is so determined to bless you he will cause a fish to swallow a coin that he will not do anything with it. That fish will remain hungry till you carry the coin from the mouth of the fish because God insists that you must rise. Most people don't believe in God. That's why they think he's scarce of options and ways to bless you. If you know the level of intelligence, the Bible says there is no searching of his understanding. You're not the first to be in Abuja. You're not the first to need a house, a car. You're not the first to want to rise. You're not the first to need deliverance from trouble. You come to God. The one who is an expert, he's done it through generations. He knows how to take away shame from people. He knows how to take away reproach. Ask Jabez. He says, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. God for you. Ask Gideon. Ask Ruth. Ruth said, don't, don't. I mean, Naomi said, look, don't. Uh, my life is already, I'm, I'm down. Come on now. But when God came through for her, look at Ruth. Lost her husband, lost her children, lost everything. And then God restarted with her again with nobility and honor. She strolls to a field and there she meets a man called Boaz who will later become her husband. Why didn't she go with Oprah and go somewhere else? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. It looks like you're coming to Abuja. It's, it's almost looking like a curse in your life because everything God told you is not yet happening. I'm praying for you in the name that is above all names that every word God spoke to you before you came into this city and even through your pastor this year, 
in the name of Jesus, may it begin to happen speedily. Amen. May it come to pass speedily. Amen. I say it again, may it come to pass speedily. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Many of you here, I presume, are trusting God for jobs and trusting God for structural establishment. Let me pray for you. The Bible says, after you have suffered for a while, that the Lord himself establish you, are we together, and settle you. I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I'm standing in agreement with the angel over this house, and I decree and declare that which makes for your establishment structurally. May my God bring it speedily. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, Amen. I feel led to pray for people who are in any kind of financial trouble. I want you to listen. If you are in financial trouble, don't keep quiet. Oh. Read the Bible. Every time people got into financial trouble, it was not business that brought them out. It was the prophetic. Alas, master, it was borrowed. It was the prophetic. By this time tomorrow, it was the prophetic. Are we together now? Ah, she ran to the prophet and said they are about to carry my children as collateral. My husband was a prophet and he was under your mentorship. Now he's gone. And he said, no, there is always something. Most people think that the prophet was just informing her that there was oil in her house. No, the prophet by prophecy programmed those who will buy the oil too. Are we together? And programmed the seed of multiplication within the oil. There were many things that happened beyond just saying go to your room lock the door i'm praying for you you got into any kind of financial issue or you right now you're having bills i know there is a place for diligence productivity relationships exchanging your value but the emergency that is at hand now needs a prophetic intervention when it is solved you can follow the way of diligence and scale i pray for you in the name of jesus christ may my god raise mysterious helpers and bail you out raise mysterious helpers and bail you out raise mysterious helpers and bail you Amen. out in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake and the Bible says they went to Lodeba and they brought a crippled man called Mephibosheth are we together now the man was crippled it incapacitated him but the, the Bible tells us that David called him and he sat down and he said, you will dine with me here for the rest of your life. You read your Bible, you will see that Ziba had 15 sons. And yet they were mandated to be the ones to plot the land for Mephibosheth. Let me tell you the truth. When favor comes, it does not endorse laziness nor lack of productivity. But there are times like you may have heard me say, Pastor, when your boat can be correct, your net can be correct. Your skill can be correct. You, the sea is where you should catch fish. All the variables intellectually are fine, but you will still not catch fish. Peter was a fisherman. Talk of skill and proficiency. Peter had a net, the right tools. Peter had a boat, the right tools. Peter was at sea. And he stayed there for long hours. All the factors were there. But there was no catch there are times where everything your business acumen is there you went to school everything is there are we together now i wish i would tell you that every time you engage these things because there are principles in the what makes it not work is the world of men if you were living in the world of robots, every principle will work accurately. But because you are living in the world of men, someone can look at you and say, because I fought with your father, even though you are supposed to be promoted, you inherit a battle you have no business with. At that point, they will make the law of diligence not work again. Your problem at that point is not incompetence. is that somebody's hatred decides to tell on your advancement. At such point, you don't need skill again. You need Jesus. Jesus steps in in John 21 and says, little children, have you any catch? And Peter, not knowing who he was, he said, cast your net to the right side. And as soon as he swung the net by that prophetic word, notice he still used the net. You see, but it was not the same as him using without it. 
he spoke a prophetic word. You will still go on the job. You will still go on the business. Even the business you lost it yesterday. But the difference now is that a prophetic word will go with you. I decree and declare where you failed yesterday by the power that raised Christ from the dead after this conference, go back and succeed. Amen. Go back and succeed. Amen. Go back and excel. Amen. Go back and succeed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My final prophetic word over you. The Bible says it was the Lord that advanced Moses. Listen, when you find people make constructive progress, you know what it means to advance? Your steps must be incremental. For you to make progress, if I am making progress, the next step must be ahead of the former one. If I move this way, I'm not making progress. It is motion, but not progress. You need beyond motion. You need progress. Progress means that the last step must be greater than the former one. The last step must be greater than the former one. Are we together? But if I just move from side to side, that is motion. It's proof of life, not proof of progress. I pray for you. Some of you have been around activities, but they are not constructive. I decree and declare, go forward. Amen. Come on, shout amen. Go forward. Amen. Go forward in life. Amen. Go forward in destiny. Amen. Go forward in life. Amen. Go forward in destiny. Amen. I place grace upon your head. Go amen. forward. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen.